I love this part. All right. <laughs> and we all went back to Delicious. This being album six, I had to kind of go back to the way I felt on album one, which is that there's no expectations except the expectation of goosebumps, of not playing by any rules but our own. Ultimately, I think this record is, is a really hopeful one. All that echoes just seem to be a good phrase to represent throwing away the rule book a little bit. We weren't afraid to have big sound on this record. Rob Cavallo brought a whole kind of new palette to my world. Rob likes to work the way I like to work, which is we get everybody in the same room and we let the musicians balance off of each other. When you stand up and hold out your I think everybody felt invested and uh, that was a cool thing to feel. That was kind of how Rob and I approached this one, which is just, let's just make music every day that makes us feel good. We never start with a title. So what we did was we started with lyrics. We just started looking through lyrics and, and we were listening to this song, Hollow Talk. And we saw the word echoes. And as I'm reading through the black and white lyrics, that word just kind of flashed out. Echo start is a cross in you. The best studio experiences for me are the times when we mixed all the ingredients and blew things up and created cross-pollinated half-breeds of mythical creatures and, you know, and we're just, we're just leaving every day completely spent with our hair in every direction. That's, that to me is my outlet. Hollow talking and hollow girl. This record for me was such a, a joy from beginning to end to, to complete. We had so much of a, a great live energy from beginning to end. album turned out way beyond what I was expecting and beyond what I was hoping for. You don't realize sometimes that you've been dreaming too small until you see what, what has been possible all along. I will always, to a certain degree, feel like that kid in seventh grade who was going to step out for the first time and sing. I can't find a reason to be happy in this heartache Cause I should know better than if I could go back and talk to that kid, you know, I would try and get him to relax a little more and just to enjoy the ride a little bit more. I mean, it's been an incredible one. Because of the nature of the, the making of this record, because we just kind of dove in every day, not knowing what to expect, just letting it flow, we actually wound up recording very, very quickly. And I think I've recorded some of the best stuff that I've ever done. So I learned that I could have a lot of fun and enjoy the ride and make music from the gut and trust your instincts. And you can still make a bloody good album.